All right, I think we're recording. What's going on, guys? Been a minute or two since we've done this vloggy vlog action thing. My friend in front of me just bought a 2016, I believe it is, Triumph Bonneville T120. So I'm gonna be riding it home for him today. And maybe I'll give you uh, some, some quick thoughts on it. I have no idea what the specs on this thing are. It's an updated model from the T100, I believe. Um, the version he got is the all blacked out version. The speedometer goes to 130. Don't know if it'll hit that. Don't know if we'll find out either. Anyways, hey. It's uh, so far so good. No, uh, no complaints here. It does have heated grips, which is really exciting. Uh, won't be using them today, but to know they're there, it's good. It's good. Throttle plays kind of weird to get used to, but we're we're doing the best we can here. It has two modes: a road mode and then a rain mode. So there's not different like power modes itself. It's just you know one that I think takes a while for everything to engage and stuff like that, where the throttle's not as fidgety. But as you can imagine, an upright bike, very comfortable. The seat is actually quite cushiony, which was, I don't know if it was a surprise or not, but for me it was a surprise because I'm not used to that. Engine braking is actually really good. Gives you a nice little jolt forward, which is kind of nice. Clicking in neutral, oh, like butter. That was great. Very nice. <laughs> he's all excited about it, which he should be. He's got a, he's got a gig this afternoon, so he can't, he can't play with it, which is a little depressing for everybody to hear. Clutch engages where, you know, it should. The throttle's a little weird for me right in the beginning. There's a very affirmative click when you shift gears, which I like. This baby was a long time coming for him. I'm excited for him. I was gonna kick down to first and went right to neutral, which isn't an issue because I'm stopping. I don't know if this shows that the brights are on or what. This puppy tops out at a whopping 7,000 RPM. It's got the lights on. I have no idea how to turn the lights off. It doesn't really matter to me. Got this nice tank. I don't know who knows. Maybe maybe he'll put a racing stripe. A racing stripe, not a racing stripe. I think that's the gas gauge. Yeah, there is a gas gauge. It's nice. I'm not gonna say this thing's like, oh, put me on my side, because I don't think it does. But it handles more than enough that you need it to. I don't think my friend's gonna be trying to scrape pegs. But fuck if I know. Very smooth. Assuming these are miles per hour, which I don't know why it wouldn't be. I'm sure he enjoyed that. I don't know where the fuck we're going. This is probably not the most ideal pass in the world. Sounds stupid, but I have no fucking idea what gear I'm in. So spoils. Just so, so spoiled. Oh, what a nice day out. Holy fuck. Once you get moving, Jesus, a nice out. Let him admire his motorcycle. So everybody take notes, texting and driving is not what you're supposed to do. He's gonna start riding soon, he's gonna know better. Get off your fucking phone! This is a very comfortable bike. Could you get in trouble on it? I don't know, I don't think so. Till uh, strike rise and yawn. I'm sorry I was not able to make it out today. I felt a legal responsibility to do this. Uh, so I'm sorry, but I'll have you know this is delightful. Strike, you would love it. Easy on the wrists, like a match made in heaven. Look at that head nod, I hope you saw it. Grand, I don't know if the brakes were necessary there. Now they're necessary. I would draw my statement. Oh yeah. I can feel when I'm getting a little hot. As expected, nice day. A little stop and go action. So they got the little braking guide for you. They didn't tell us what fuel to use. Literally no idea, I asked them, specifically asked them. He said, let me check, and then he didn't check. So. Will be the end of the world? No. Could you look it up? Yeah. Just a lovely machine we got here, though. So this braking guide has you not going over 4,000 RPM. It's for the first, I don't know, whatever, 300 miles. And that's like the same shit they have on a sport bike. And the sport bikes are like, don't go over, try not to go over four or 5K for you know, your first 600 miles. And the sport bike limiter is at like 16K. And this is at 7K. So 4,000 to keep it under is way easier to do. That being said, we're not gonna do it because we're fucking rebel bikers, right? Grant, the brakes. Did you just take a picture of me? I know I look fucking good, but... Let's uh, go ahead and hit that light button for uh, excessive brake lights. Can we, can we do that, viewers? 
For every view, I want to see a like, just for the brake lights. I really never thought I'd miss a gear indicator so much. I'm sure he'll get used to it. I'm used to shit screaming, and I know what gear I'm in. Did another downshift to uh, neutral, which is interesting. Something to note. Just one thing I don't want to do, it's wreck somebody else's motorcycle. Like if I ate shit right here, I, I'm, I'd put money that ground would be like, the bike. And I'd be like, ah, the bike! This lady would be like, what the fuck is she drinking, chocolate milk? I guess she'd say got milk, I don't know. But out of those people now, we could go to Brookfield Zoo this way. So this doesn't get a crazy amount of miles to the tank. Not to say the miles per gallon is not good. Look at the head nod. Grant, you gotta be ready for this. It says 97 miles until it's empty, I'd assume. Shows the gas tank on the right side, which, <laughs> I mean, you can't. You can't argue with that logic. It is on the right hand side. Why they need an arrow. I don't know if you can see that in for a motorcycle is beyond me, but they got it. And now I know. I don't know what this says. Emergency read about gas. Emergency read about helmet. Grant, Grant, check out the wave. Here it comes. Check out, check it, check it out, check it out. Oh, head nod. I'll catch up to this biker. Again with the brakes. I'm just Befuzzled. Grant, I know your brakes suck right now, but second gear at a cruising speed of 35. I'm digging that. Digging that real good. A little bumpy McBumps. Mm, Colony Motel. Sign me up fucking never. That looks awful. Motel, Motel, Holiday Inn. How did the Holiday Inn get roped into that song? So you could stay at that motel or you could stay at a Holiday Inn. Which do you prefer? So yeah, overall first impressions. I like it. Grant, I think you're going to be super excited about it. Not that you're going to watch this. Because you probably won't know what's going up. And I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. But it's great. Very smooth. Very easy to ride. Not to say a car can't hit you on it. Because it probably still could. I don't know. Maybe there's a built-in force field. I'm not sure. Was not mentioned in the brochure. It's a very quiet bike. I don't know if it's common to get a different exhaust or what. But it was something I would consider for sure. I'm used to having a little bit of a louder bike. I don't think you need it to like roar at you, but a little more tone wouldn't hurt anybody, I don't think. No, I have no, uh, no bad things to say about it though. Everything uh, is pretty good. Oh, look at that, we're neutral. This ride alone, I'm figuring out that Grant is the most popular guy in the planet. I think we've gone up for miles. I think we're at 99 now. I think we were at 80, 98 before. Let's go Grant. Siri, call me the baddest biker around. Okay, Grant, you are the baddest biker around. That's probably what he's doing right now. Siri, where can I find assless chaps in the area? The closest assless chap store to you is 7.3 miles. Is this one okay? Grant, that guy steered the fuck out of your bike right there. You say, hmm? Hmm. I don't want to jinx it, but so far no uh, Stolly McStollersons, which is nice. New bike, always concerned. Suspension is great. Always nervous to ride a bike for the first time. I didn't know. I was talking to the guy at the Ducati dealership, and I was like, at the Progressive Auto Show, I signed up specifically for test rides. And all I got is, hey, we're having a fucking sale this week. Save $1 on any $5,000 purchase. So, first off, fuck Ducati, because I'm sick of that bullshit. Make me unsubscribe and shit. And second, I'm like, when do you guys even have fucking test rides? He's like, we got bikes here. He's like, if you're bored, just come in. Be like, I want to ride that one. And we let you ride it. So that shit was crazy and literally blew my mind. Don't you fucking do it, Caddy. So that's going to have to be a thing. And now that I've talked to that guy, maybe he'll recognize me and we'll get that going. So that was good news. No, but still, those emails have to fucking go. I think I see large buildings in the distance. I don't know. And Grant is literally nowhere to be seen. His car could have blown up. I'm saying it is a possibility last night I got out of it. Which would be upsetting because all my shit's in there. Man, did you guys catch on to that one? What about your friend? No, my shit's in there. My friend will fucking heal. I'm not going to repay all my shit. Oh, God, fuck the crossfire. You can't make a crossfire look cool, dude. Making all blacked out makes it look even gayer. I don't know where Grant is. I'm just... And my phone's in the car. I did not think that through. I was like, I don't have a ram mount. What am I going to do? You put it in your fucking pocket like a normal person. So if you need to call somebody in an emergency, you can do that. Now you get hit by a train, Grant not see it, and me not be able to tell him. Smart, Andrew. This is why we have phones. 
I know people used to do it back in the day, but I don't see a payphone anywhere close. You're gonna do when the train comes for you. So I need to go over with Grant a lot of the how-to shit. He hasn't ridden a motorcycle per se. So I'll be the one to happy, happily let him. Again, this bike is surprise, uh, so surprised to me. I thought it was gonna be nice. I thought it was gonna be, did not, you thought everything would be as smooth as it is, which is weird because I think Triumphs are really nice. I feel like I should fucking pull over for him. Maybe he got stopped at a light. But yeah, this bike is really smooth. Not only changing gears, but I thought when I get to a higher speed, I would be like, oh, fuck me. This is unsafe. But it is, you feel like you're going slower than you are, which is, which is a great feeling. I love that feeling. Like now I'm concerned like I'm not doing the right thing. Didn't want to bring your phone, right? Haha, -ha, there he is. God, it takes those bumps like a champ. I'd be like, Bloo. it's lovely, Grant. Like a smart person right here, go up next to him and be like, hey, this does run into your place, right? Eventually I'll be like, ah, there it is. And he'll be like, yeah, dude. Let's go, come on, come on, come on, come on. No brakes, no need for brakes. Grant, you're not helping your cause here. He's got four more likes due to brakes as discussed previously in this episode. Mm -hmm. Another one. Grant, you did what you were supposed to. You did good. You didn't hesitate. Like, it does not feel like we're going 40 miles an hour. It feels like we're going 20. This is just great. Just so smooth. So smooth. Sweet and sour in my pussy. That was a dang cook reference for all those who are like, what the fuck was that? I'm gonna go to down. You're gonna see a guy named Hank. Hank's gonna take you to the Whopper Lair. Anyways, I may take some pictures of this bad boy. I think he's got to go really soon, so maybe I'll see him tomorrow with it. But hopefully in this video there will be a little bit more, I don't know, description of what it is somewhere on the screen at some point. Maybe randomly in the video, maybe you already saw it, I don't know. She's a beaut though. I don't know what he's, I would doubt he's gonna do anything to it. So if anybody of the five people who are gonna watch this video, if they're like, hey, what's he, what's he got planned for it? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say what you see is what you got. Ooh, I like that, how the uh, speedometer lights up. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're getting relatively close, so. It's been great, hopefully we'll chop this up. It'll make a, it'll be semi-coherent. I don't know, all the way, it's probably pushing it, but uh, Hello, hi, you know, goodbye, stuff like that. You should probably recognize. And we will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If not, I don't blame you. But I post videos, what seems to be so infrequently, that you won't even notice if you're subscribed. So you might as well hit that subscribe button. Life will not change at all. It's going to be great. And it makes me feel better about myself, because <laughs> I need all I can get. Anywho... Thanks for stopping by, I guess, if you made it this long. And I'll catch you on the next video. Later.